pleasant day to each and every one of you, hospitality management students. Welcome to Hospitality Management Elective 1, Rooms Division Management and Control. So for today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the introduction to Rooms Division Management. But before that, let me just reiterate to you the learning objectives. So after you read the module or after you watch this lesson video, you should be able to, number one, explain the definition of rooms division, and number two, discuss what is rooms division and its areas and functions. So now let's discuss the introduction to rooms division management. So it says here in our introduction, the rooms division comprises of departments and personnel essential to providing the services guests expect during a hotel stay. So as we've discussed during your subject orientation, that rooms division comprises of different departments. And one of the popular departments are the front office department and the housekeeping department, which later on we will discuss further. It says here also that in most hotels, the rooms division generates more revenue than any other divisions because as we all know okay the hotel or the main product of a hotel is the sleeping rooms or the what we call guest rooms so in tagalog ang ating pinaka main product sa isang hotel is of course yung mga guest room na binebenta natin okay yung mga guest room na available na ibook ng iba't ibang mga guests sa iba't ibang reservation sites which later on i-discuss din natin ano-ano ba yung mga sources of reservations so next slide is all about the departments under the rooms division so again we have two departments the front office department okay the front office department and the housekeeping department so it says here that the rooms division is the what we call the nerve center for most hotel operations. Why? Okay? Because in rooms division, rooms division is the heart of the hotel. It is basically the department which is responsible for the guest first and last impression. The moment na si guest is pumasok sa hotel, okay? nagkakaroon na siya ng first impression. Meron na siyang pwedeng feedback. Okay? It depends upon sa service na ipinakita or pinreform ng mga taong na-encounter ni guests. So, ano-ano ba yung mga different hotel functional departments natin? So, isa na nga dito, yung rooms division, food and beverage, accounting, human resources, the engineering, the sales, marketing, and even the catering. So, all of those departments depend on each other in order for them to come up with a best service and, of course, to generate revenue. It says here also that it is also the area most responsible for the main hotel product, which is the sleeping room or the guest room. So, as mentioned earlier. So, aside from any other services na binibigay ni hotel or in offer, ang pinaka-main product talaga natin is the guest room. And everything begins with rooms division. Next slide. So, it says here also that rooms division management, okay, is the term used by the hospitality industry to unite the coordinated efforts of the front office and the housekeeping department. So, as mentioned a lot of times, hindi po natin mapaghihiwalay si front office department at si housekeeping department. So, those two departments need to be united and coordinated. So, it says here that broadly speaking, rooms division management is concerned with planning, controlling, directing, organizing of resources within a particular department which is the housekeeping department and the front office department. 
So what are those resources na tinutukoy dito? So those resources can be the people. So when we say people, yung ating mga employees, the human resources. And of course, materials. So diba within the hotel, napakarami nating kailangang materials. For example, sa housekeeping department, we need to provide several materials. For example, yung mga kailangang amenities, yung mga kailangan na facilities. Okay? Next one is capital. Of course, it is very important para mag-function ang isang organization or ang isang business, kailangan natin ng capital or ng pera. And of course, equipment. So, those um, four resources will help the rooms division management or technically speaking, the hotel operation. Okay, next is slide. Is the management structure. So, ano ba yung sinasabi natin na management structure? So, even before, in your management subject, you already discuss what is organizational structure. So, organizational structure or management structures, it means it is a system. Okay? So, it is a system that outlines Okay? The word outlines of how certain activities are being directed in order to achieve the goals of an organization. Ibig sabihin lang po natin sa management structure or si organizational structure, ito po yung outline, okay? Na kung saan yung mga activities, okay? Yung mga roles, mga rules and responsibilities ibinibigay natin siya sa mga iba't ibang tao. From the word itself, organizational, ibig sabihin, organized. For example, a housekeeper. Si housekeeper, meron lang siyang mga certain roles and responsibilities na kailangan gawin. Yung trabaho ni housekeeper, hindi pwedeng gawin ni food and beverage attendant. Because si food and beverage attendant, iba naman yung kanyang roles and responsibility sa mismong hotel. So, it says here that management structures differs among larger, mid-scale, and smaller properties. Okay? So, yung atin pong management structure, katulad nito, yung hotel organizational chart, yung organizational chart po natin is nakadepende kung gaano kalaki yung isang establishment. Of course, kapag ang isang establishment or ang isang hotel is a large-scale hotel, ibig sabihin, mas marami taong involved okay? doon sa organizational structure na tinatawag. The mid-scale and smaller properties are less complex, okay? less complex and their management structures than the other are larger ones. So, ibig sabihin, sabi ko nga kanina, Kapag ang isang hotel is nasa mid-scale and smaller properties lang siya, okay, mas less complex. Ibig sabihin, mas kakaunti yung taong involved. However, it says here, someone must be responsible for each of the key result areas that make the operation successful. So, para ang isang hotel operation is maging successful, kailangan lahat ng mga tao dito sa organizational chart, lahat ng mga tao from the top management to the rank and file position, dapat po lahat sila is responsible. It means that they perform their roles, duties, and responsibilities in accordance to the company's rule or the company's protocol. Okay, next slide. So, for as example, a small property may not have a director of human resources. Because sabi nga natin kanina, if a hotel is just a small-scale property, hindi na po natin kailangan mag-hire ng tinatawag natin na director of human resources. We can hire a human resource manager maybe. It depends upon to the decision of the top management. But each department head will have a general day-to-day -day operating responsibilities. Okay? 
for the human resources function. So, ibig sabihin, the more na nagiging maliit yung isang property, mas nalilesen yung mga taong involved. Pero, syempre, kahit nakakaunti yung mga taong involved, they should still conduct a general day-to-day operating responsibilities. Okay? So, dapat kung ano yung ginagawa talaga na mga responsibility sa isang hotel, you need to supervise, you need to manage, you need to give direction, okay? you need to delegate task. So, lahat dapat yun everyday na gagawa pa rin natin, regardless of how large or small a property is. So, para yun is magawa ng mas maayos, kailangan natin si manager. Okay? So, si manager, he or she has the ultimate responsibility for all human resources decision. When we say ultimate, sa kanya nang gagaling lahat ng responsibilities na dapat i-delegate niya sa kanyang mga tauhan o yung tinatawag natin na mga human resources. Next slide. The role of a hotel general manager. So, in other um, words, pwede nating tawagin si hotel general manager as GM, okay? Or the general manager. It says here that hotel general managers have a lot of responsibilities. So, hindi naman po maipagkakaila that if you are a if you are a manager of a certain company, kung manager ka ng isang hotel, of course, the more na mas mataas yung iyong position, the more na mas marami kang responsibilities. So, parang yung sinabi lang ni Spider-Man, okay? With the great power comes with the great responsibilities. So, ganun din po kay hotel general managers. They must provide owners with a reasonable return on investment. So, ibig sabihin, as the time goes by, dahil matagal lang nag-ooperate si hotel, dapat makapagbigay tayo ng magandang return of investment. Ibig sabihin, yung mga pinundar natin before, dapat unti-unti natin siya na makuha. Ibig sabihin, unti-unting kumita yung hotel until na mas maging successful pa or even mas mag-expand pa yung ating hotel. So, it keeps guests satisfied and returning. So, hindi man laging nakakaharap ng mga guests si general manager, pero kay general manager nang gagaling yung mga dapat nating gawin in order for the guests to be satisfied. At para in return, bumalik sila. Okay? Balik-balik nila yung hotel mismo because of the quality or high-quality services na pinoprovide natin. So, aside from that, the general manager should also keep their employees happy, masaya. Okay? So, as a manager, we need to implement a nice or let's say a toxic-free environment para sa ating mga employees. So, in that case, kapag maayos yung ating working environment, yung mga employees natin, yung mga tauhan, or kayo mismo in the near future, magiging masaya kayo sa workplace. Magiging comfortable kayo. Okay? Magiging productive, efficient, and effective kayo sa lahat ng ginagawa nyo sa workplace. This may seem easy, but because there are so many interpersonal transactions, and because hotels are open every day, all day, the complexities of operating become challenges that the general manager must face and overcome. So, kaya nga meron tayong tinatawag kanina na management structure. Ibig sabihin, kahit na napakaraming kailangan gawin ni hotel general manager, hindi lang po siya ang gagawa nun. Okay? Because of the complexities, okay? sa dami ng mga operating procedures na dapat gawin sa isang hotel, dapat katulong ni GM or ni general manager yung kanyang mga subordinates. Okay? From the top management to the rank and file position. In order for them to face and overcome yung mga darating na challenges doon sa hotel. Next one. 
The general manager not only focuses on the leading and operating the hotel departments, but also on the aspects of the infrastructure from the room atmosphere to the security. So, si general manager, hindi lang niya basta isusupervise or hindi lang niya basta responsibility yung operation ng isang hotel, but also yung aspect ng ating infrastructure. When we say infrastructure, yung pinaka-building. Okay? So, kaya nga sa mga iba nyo pang subjects, pinag-aaralan doon, paano ba maggagawa? Okay? Paano ba magkoconduct ng maintenance sa isang hotel? Paano ba natin mapapanatili na maging maayos yung mga facilities na in-install natin sa isang hotel or sa isang establishment? So, lahat yon trabaho din ni general manager. Baka naman kasi mamaya sa isang hotel, madami na palang mga rooms ang merong defect. Marami na palang mga rooms ang maraming sira na hindi naman na report ni housekeeping department sa maintenance department. So, all of those things should be coordinated. Okay? There should be a collaboration para maiwasan natin yung mga ganun klaseng problema. And of course, hindi lang sa infrastructure but also sa room atmosphere. So, katulad na sinabi ko kanina sa mga guest room. And of course, sa security which is the most important thing also in rooms division management. Because in here, dahil ang ating pinaka main product is the room or the guest room, we need to make sure that the every guest na mag-check in sa ating mga rooms, they are safe and they are secured. From the moment they enter the establishment, and from the moment they left the establishment, they should be secured. They should be safe. So, lahat po yun, si general manager din ang may responsibility. Okay? Next slide. The Glimps of Rooms Division Department. So, ngayon, iisa-isahin natin or bibigyan natin ng description ano-ano ba yung mga task okay, or common task or common um, description with regards sa iba't ibang departments within rooms division. So, the first one is the front desk. So, during your second year, we've already tackled about the front, pr front office procedures. So, the terms... I might say in this um, lesson video will be familiar to you also. So front desk, here is where the first okay, and last impression are always made. So sabi nga natin before that the front office department is the face of the hotel. Okay? The moment you enter the hotel, sino ba ang makikita mo aside from the security guard? Of course, yung ating mga front office associate. They will be the one who will accommodate, okay? Who will accommodate you and help you with regards to the check-in and check-out procedure and any other inquiries na meron si guest. So, at the front desk, it is important to be personable, okay? Confident and patient. Because your guests will vary in temperament, needs, and expectations. Okay? So, as we go along the way, we've, we've already tackled about the diversity in the workplace. So, dapat alam na natin that when we work in a hospitality industry, we will encounter a different kinds of people. So, those people, they have different personalities. They have different needs. They have different expectations. So, in order for us to meet that, we should always be patient. We should always be knowledgeable. We should be confident in facing our guests and answering their questions or inquiries. Next slide. Housekeeping department. So, in housekeeping department, perception is reality. And cleanliness is always at the top of the guest expectations. Another thing is that because the hotel industry, okay, 
one of the prime or one of the major product in hotel industry is the guest room itself. So, ang may role non to maintain the cleanliness of the guest rooms is the housekeeping department. So, kaya nga tayo nagpupunta sa isang hotel, kaya nga yung mga business travelers nagpunta sa isang hotel, yung mga tourists or mga vacationers, it's because they want to relax. Okay? They want a different atmosphere. So, syempre, kapag nandun na sila sa guest room, they want, okay, they want their guest room to be clean, malinis. Okay? In housekeeping, it is the attention to details. Okay? Attention to details, the eye for a word or the eye for the out of place, the worn or the frayed that keeps it real for the guests. Okay? We will encounter guests na madidiwara. Okay? Every detail talaga namang tinitingnan nila. So, the housekeeping department should always keep attention to the small and large details. Sometimes, um, kapag may mga nakakaila tayo ng mga maliliit na bagay, akala natin, hindi yun makakaapekto okay, sa operation ng isang hotel. But most likely, in reality, yung mga maliliit na bagay na na-overlook natin, usually yun yung may mga malaking impact okay, sa operation at sa guest satisfaction. So, housekeeping, it is a demanding work area with much physical labor that is essential to guest satisfaction. So, yun naman po is very um, obvious that the housekeeping department really involves okay, a physical labor. We, we really need to use our muscles, okay, not, ju not just our brain, but our muscles, technically speaking, in order for us to clean the room, to maintain the room, okay, and so on. So, it says here that your work is done mostly behind the curtain, out of the guest view, but noticed and appreciated. So, if there is a one department that really should be appreciated in a hotel industry, that should be the housekeeping department. Okay? So, sabi ko nga, the housekeeping department is usually the back of the house. But technically speaking, pwede rin silang maging front of the house. Okay? Because sila din mismo visible sa guests. Kaya lang, hindi nga lang nakikita ni guests yung effort ng mga housekeepers kung paano nila linisin yung mga rooms at kung paano nila i-maintain. Okay? Para nang sa ganon, maging kaaya-aya, okay? Aesthetically pleasing yung mga guest room. Of course, when they enter to a fresh towels, made bed or bed making, and of course, they flawlessly clean the room. So, minsan nga lang, there are some issues, okay? Or intrigues na kapag daw full house ang isang hotel, okay? Full house, fully booked, minsan... Um, hindi na natin nasusunod yung standard operating procedure when it comes to cleaning the room. Okay? But we have to bear in mind that we should always, okay, always follow the SOP. And you will never go wrong. Not unless there is really a problem sa management ng hotel. Okay, next slide. Reservations. So, ano naman yung sinasabi natin dito na reservations? So, there is a question here. How do you convey a smile over the phone? So, during our front office um, procedures um, course, I've asked you to smile whenever you answer a telephone call from a guest. Okay? Kasi si guest, mararamdaman niya yun. Okay? Because your smile also reflects the tone of your voice. If you are happy, mararamdaman ni guest. If you are sad, mararamdaman ni guest. If you're angry, mararamdaman din yan ni guest. And if you're not interested, okay, 100% mararamdaman yan ni guest. So you must do as you you must do so as you begin the process of the guest cycle. So hindi man yan um let's say hindi man yan telephone reservation, pero kung yan 
Okay? Kung yan is walk-in at makakaharap mo si Guess face-to-face, -face, you should smile right away kay Guess. So, reservations calls for a total command on the keyboard, awareness of the hotel revenue goals, upcoming events, room availability, but above all, listen, truly listen to the guests so you can match their request with the hotel services. So, in the reservation department, okay, so, Technically speaking, mas marami talaga yung tasks nila na sasagot sila ng mga telephone calls. Okay? Now, wherein there are guests that um, they will going to reserve a room or if not, they, they will going to um, reserve for a certain kind of event na gusto nilang ganapin doon sa hotel. They might ask you kung may mga rooms ba na available. Anong klaseng room yan? Ano yung mga specification? Ano yung mga features ng rooms na yan? Okay? So, as a reservation associate or as a reservation attendant, you should be able to, okay, to deliver those information correctly kay guests. And at the end of the call or at the end of the communication, you should always, okay, remember, there should be a match between the request of the guests Okay? To the hotel services. Baka naman kasi mamaya, yung mga in-input mo, okay? Yung mga sinulat mo, yung mga tinipe mo na information, is hindi naman pala tugma doon sa gusto ni guest. Okay? Kaya nga, di ba, kinaklarify natin, okay? Nire-repeat natin lahat ng information bago natin i-end yung call. And we should ask the guest kung tama ba lahat ng information na inulit mo sa kanya. So, the promise begins with you and you must never write a check that the front desk can cash at check-in. So, ibig sabihin, the reservations um, department should not really make promises. Okay? Baka naman kasi mamaya, sinabi niya na available yung kwarto na to. Okay? Available. May isa pang available na penthouse. Pero, hindi na pala siya available. Nag-expect si guest. And in return, wala kayong proper communication because hindi mo rin siya nasabi kay front office department. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, um, there is a domino effect if ever na nakakaroon tayo ng miscommunications. Next slide is the concierge. So, ano naman yung sinasabi natin na concierge? So, when we say concierge, this is a job that calls for diplomacy. Ano ba'y sinasabi nating diplomacy? Ibig sabihin, a job that will enable you, okay, to talk to different kinds of people with diplomatic attitude. Ibig sabihin, you are professional. Alam mo kung ano yung sinasabi mo. Okay? Kaya mong humarap sa iba't ibang klase ng tao. Kaya mong makipag-communicate. Ability to will and deal and just a touch of magic. Your role is to accommodate the guest needs, okay? Accommodate the guest needs during their stay. It calls for an encyclopedic memory of restaurants, theater offerings, key points of interest, and current city events. So, basically, si Concierge, he or she is an hotel employee, okay? Na ang trabaho niya is to assist the guests. For example, kailangan or gusto ni guest na mag-tour around the area. So, si Concierge ang gagawa nun. Kung kailangan ni guest na mag-book ng theater um, ticket, okay? Si guest ang gagawa, or si Concierge ang gagawa nun rather. Kung kailangan ni guest ng restaurant reservation, si Concierge ang mag-aasikaso. So, the ability to develop a vast network of connections throughout the hospitality community in your area is essential to, the, to serve your guests and see their every wish. Okay? So, si concierge attendant, okay, or si concierge employee, dapat memorize niya, or kung hindi man niya memorize, he or she should be knowledgeable about the different establishments, okay, 
different informations na possible tanongin ni Guess. Because si Concerge Department or parang siya yung tinatawag natin na information desk. So kung meron mga inquiries, may mga concerns, pwedeng lumapit si Guess kay Concerge. Okay. Next slide is the guest services. So, ano ba yung sinasabi natin na guest services? This is also referred to as as a uniform services. Consists of valet, door person, and bell person positions. All jobs essential to first and last impression set the tone for the quality of service. So, basically, si guest services isa rin to sa mga importanteng um, asset ng isang hotel. Because, di ba, si valet, si door person, si bell person, usually, ina-assist din talaga nila si guest upon entering, okay, while nasa hotel si guest at during the departure ni guest. A congenial disposition that projects a true spirit of helpfulness will disarm any initial guest trepid trepidation. So, it says here, itong si valet, si door person, and si bell person, technically, ang kanilang trabaho is to help the guest. Okay? So, it says here also that it also calls for thorough comprehension of the hotel, its layout, rooms, and amenities. So, ibig sabihin, um, during your housekeeping um procedures um, subject, we've already tackled about the valet and butler dialogue. Okay? So, during those times, we've already tackled that the valet okay, or the butler attendant, he or she is responsible in presenting the hotel, okay? Telling the guests about the layouts of the rooms, the amenities, the facilities, na available doon sa hotel. So, technically speaking, si guest services or si uniform services, dapat meron siyang sapat na knowledge about the hotel, the layout of the hotel, the rooms, and the amenities. Kasi pwede rin siyang pagtanungan ng mga guests. So, the guest services, it says here that the work that demands immaculate grooming so, when we say immaculate grooming, you should be presentable. Because, yung uniform na susuotin mo, sabi nga, the uniform, you are the hotel to the guests. Diba? Minsan, yung mga flight attendant, yung uniform pa lang nila. Mafe-feel mo na, diba? Mafe-feel mo na that you are engaged. You are immersed in a certain establishment or in a certain location. So, ganun din kay uniform services or kay guest services. So, sa ibang bansa or sa mga sikat na hotels here in the Philippines and other countries, yung, tal yung uniform ni valet, attendant, or ni butler is really um, presentable. Okay? Maganda talaga yung kanilang uniform. So, syempre, kung maganda ang uniform na suot niyang isang guest services, okay, or ni uniform services, dapat tugma. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung ganda ng physical appearance mo when it comes sa uniform, yung look mo, it should always complement the knowledge you are willing to give. Okay? The knowledge you are going to share to the guests. Okay? In order for us to have a smooth operation sa hotel at maiwasan natin yung mga problema. So, again, that concludes our module 1.2. Introduction to Rooms Division Management. So, to summarize everything, basically, Rooms Division Department has two departments, the Front Office Department and the Housekeeping Department. But along with that, we also have the different glimpse of Rooms Division Department, which is the Front Desk, the Housekeeping, the Reservations. We also have the Concierge Guest Services and so on. So, in our next discussion, which is the module 1.3, we are going to tackle about the functions, okay, the main functions of rooms division management or the rooms division department. So, I hope you all understand our lesson for today. If ever there are you missed, 
you can always replay or rewatch our lesson video in YouTube or even you can download the lesson video for further references. So thank you so much for listening and watching in today's discussion. See you on our next lesson and thank you so much and keep safe. Goodbye!